what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial today i have another x particles tutorial for you where i'm going to be taking some particles making them move abstractly and then form a shape after that so yeah let's get straight into it cool so let's start out by just adding in an x particle system over here we can just put that down for now and then let's grab a terraform effects over here if you don't have terraform that's perfectly okay just use the default um, landscape over here. I just like the way that this looked. But yeah, we're not gonna be doing anything complicated to it. We're just grabbing it, pressing C, and then deleting this stuff over here. Just because I really like the way that this looked and yeah, it's the main reason. Cool, let's jump into our emitter over here and change the emitter shape to object and then set the terrain as the object. So now if we press play, they should be shooting up. Perfect. Now let's go into the emission over here, change the emission to shot and the speed to zero and the radius to about 0.5. Cool, so if we press play now, they should just all sit around. Awesome, that's exactly what we want. So in my render, what I did, instead of just having the particles go from the floor and then form an object, I don't want that. I wanted the objects to like, sorry, I wanted the particles to go up into the air, kind of do some like weird movement and then from there turn into a actual object so let me show you how i did that so first of all let's actually just put a xp collider on our terrain over here just so that when the particles move it does interact with the ground let's grab a modifier over here and we're going to grab the xp attractor so the xp attractor is pretty simple as it says it just attracts particles so if i have to press play now all the particles are going to go really fast up until the central point that's pretty much what we want, but it's, we need to change some of the settings over here. So with force, let's set this down to about 15, acceleration maybe about 80, and speed limit at about 80 as well. Let's see. Yeah, that looks fine. For now, I so the reason that we're doing this is that I want the particles that are closer to the attractor to come a little bit fast compared to the ones that are further away, that those gradually come towards it. Cool, so that's looking good. Let's add another matter for modifier over here with XP Turbulence. We don't really need to change any of the settings. This is just so that there's some other movement in it when it's moving up towards it. Cool, and let's increase this to maybe about 600. Cool, so now the particles are going to the central point over here, just doing some like weird movement. And then from there, we're gonna make it turn into an actual object. So the object that I used is this angel over here. I got this angel from the site called mymanufactory.com forward slash scan the world. I'll include it in the bio, but it's this pretty cool place where you can just download these free um, scanned assets from around the world where they just have um, people who are just uploading their own scans of art around the world. So yeah, it's really cool and such a useful little asset. So let's grab this, let's point it towards us and let's maybe make it a little bit smaller. So let's make it like 0.6. Yeah, I think something like that. Uh, let's go 0.7. That should be good. So how are we gonna make it cover this is pretty simple actually there is a modifier called xp cover that does that exact thing so in the target object over here we're going to set this angel so if i had to just turn these off for a second and just turn this on just add some like speed to it you'll see that all the particles are going to go and attract perfectly to this object over here so if you don't want that whole beginning part of all the particles moving, this is how you would do it. You would just use the XP cover and it will do it for you. I just wanted to do that just because it made it a little bit more exciting and a little bit more cool. Cool, so let's turn these back on, change the speed to zero again. And with the XP cover, we're only gonna turn it on at a certain stage. So let's... Let's go to around, oh, let's change the type to force and at around maybe like 180. That seems like a good spot. We're gonna enable it. Let's go back a frame and then turn that off. 
and at about say maybe 300 over here let's make the strength 20 and then back down here at zero so while we're doing that is that so when all the particles come to form like uh, just to like move around and stuff that when the XP cover comes on it doesn't automatically just like start shooting out it gradually starts like sticking to the object so you'll see what I mean when we do a cache of this so we can hide the angel for now because we don't really want to see it we want the geometry to be formed as the particles cover it so let's go into the emission over here and just add another so that it's 10,000 and I'm just gonna cache it just to see what we're working with we'll get back to you when it's done Cool, so it finished caching, that took about a minute. Let's see what that looks like. So the particles are all gonna move up, do some like cool movement, and then about now they're gonna start forming the object. Okay, cool, so I see what's happening here. I think at about this point we should have the attractor turned down, so maybe at around here. Mm. 360 let's set keyframes over here and then at about 480 let's just turn all of these down to about zero cool and then same with the turbulence let's just go over here 400 and then go over here and just set that to zero i also think that we need a little bit more particles so let me just show you what this would look like at the moment. So let's go over here, add a cinema 40 octane tag onto the emitter and then change the particle mode to geometry, add a sphere, go to the sphere into the geometry and then change the sphere radius to about 0.5 or maybe like one, depending on what you wanna do. So as you'll see, it's, it is forming something, but it's not very detailed. So I think we need to add a lot more particles. So let's actually make this 100,000 particles. And let's recache and then we'll take a look when it's done. Cool, so that took about three minutes to cache and let's see what that looks like. So we have a lot more particles over here. That's really cool. Cool, and then about now they should start forming an object. Let's see. Yeah, yeah it's looking cool. Kind of moves around for a bit. Add some more particles. And yeah, there we got it. And now, look at that, you can even see the detail in it. Can see the detail in the dress and that looks really cool so obviously we could make this a little bit smaller like 0.5 and then you could add even more particles i think in the render that i did i think it was about a million particles but yeah look at that detail that looks great that looks really cool so yeah that is the tutorial the project file of course is always in the patreon if you guys are interested and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. And yeah, I'll check you guys next week. Thanks. Cheers.